What's poppin' homies? This is your boy Frank Nitty back in the building, actually back in front of the Nike Outlet Clearance Store on International Drive. I um did an outlet, the grand opening for well, technically it wasn't a grand opening, but I went in and combed through the Winter Garden store is uh less than a week old, so I went and popped in there, see what's going on. So I was like, yo, I'm only 15 minutes away from the Nike Outlet Clearance Store on International Drive. Excuse my son in the background. So I said, let me pop through and see what's popping. See a lot of people coming out with bags. I don't know if they have a sale. Typically, they don't have sales during the middle of the week. They usually start the sales Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But Christmas is coming up. Somebody hit me up and said, Frank, you gonna do a pre-Christmas outlet vlog? So I was like, more, more than likely. I did it for Thanksgiving. Y'all like that? I did it for Thanksgiving, y'all enjoy that, so I'm gonna do it for Christmas, and I'll probably do it for New Year's as well. So let's go inside, see what's popping, man. See y'all inside. Peace. Sorry for my son making all that noise. Now pulling up, man, it's probably like two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, actually, they got the door wide open, which I have never seen before. I appreciate it, because I got this stroller in my hand, and there I got the seal going on. All oh, for it, when I came in here, I saw these, uh, 270s man the leather joints and this uh navy blue colorway this yankee blue colorway pretty dope i'm gonna try them on man they're hitting for like 100 with 30 percent off yo toe box is a problem man my toes all the way at the tip these are on um, size 11 and a half so these will not work unfortunately so these ain't gonna work but remember i told y'all about these the air revs man good ball and shoe these like a like a silver or platinum pure platinum colorway with three on print clear outsole hitting for 54 dollars with 30 percent off i might just copy to have it oh the keys i appreciate it man a wise old man once said if you find a pair of shoes that you like buy multiple pairs of them especially at this price man you ain't gonna find them again and you ain't gonna find them cheaper like these air max 90s Actually, the 91s, 90 slash ones. Where's the one at? Uh, yeah, the one upper, yeah, the 90 bottom. Okay, I see it now. Air Max 95, undefeated colorway. That green and orange, man, dope colorway. Size 12, my size, man. Probably retail, though, with 30 off. Yo, they still got these Kyries for $50? Excuse me, All right, no problem. $50, man, with 30 off. Not bad prices for a pair of balling shoes. Yo, I'm reaching right now, man. I'm in a nine and a half, man. I found this girl shoe or woman shoe. I know these ain't men, but these are nine and a half women, yup. But those are Air Jordan 1s. Here's the 1.5 that I've been contemplating on copying at the other Nike outlet. They have my size over there. What they going for here? 90 with 30 off. Not a bad price, man. Not a bad price. I'm not sure if I would cop it, though. Oh, they got multiple pairs. Another 10 and a half. The Air Jordan 1.5. Spot them again, the Air Max 1s. They're raw colorway, Air Max 1 print. They're calling them $84 with 30% off. Yo, these pinnacles are dope. Hopefully showing up in the camera okay. Hope the ISO ain't blowing them out. What are they going for? $90 with 30 off, man. These are clean. Here they go, man. It's that Pascal looking color. Pink a little bit, perforated toe box. And on the back heel as well, Nike on the back, man. Yo, the Platinum Air Max ones are dope, man. I own a pair, but not this colorway, though. Air Max 95 in this loud colorway. Colors are unique, but not my steeds. They're 160, though. Got these Penny 4s, size 10, though. Same $4 with 30 off. They got these for 40. This is probably the lowest I have ever seen these joints right here. These like the Jason Kids back in the days. 39 with 30 off that's crazy that's crazy i think when these dropped they came out for what 100 and something 160 now they can't give them away this shoe's gonna like with all the sales and discounts probably 25 dollars out the door size 11 though i would pass regardless i don't foresee myself ever wearing this shoe if i was to buy it bro they got more apparel than to do shoes man like for example this jordan jacket 24 dollars with 30 off yo this red joint, dry fit, zippers on both sides. Then you got this gray and black jacket for $30 for 30 off. So it's like $27 when it's said and done. I mean, even this black and royal colorway, dry fit as well, what it's hitting for, $29. The perils is the way to go. 
if you want to come here and shop 24 dollars for this nike cotton hoodie they also got fly i say fly knit <laughs> a tech fleece jacket here as well that's in for 79 though yo even though it's florida man i still cop these well what i meant it is even though it's winter time but here in florida you can still cop these i like these uh jordan thick shorts man pause they're like 30 dollars for 30 off large is the way to go man i own a pair of them this is a different style I haven't seen these joints yet it says brazil at the bottom i don't even know bro yo i did not cop anything man i put those shoes back i already got two pairs so i didn't want to over exaggerate me buying basketball shoes so i'm gonna take it to one more nike outlet and that's it i'm gonna take it back to the crib so let's hope they got something at that other outlet so we just left the nike clearance store on international there was a there was a few few i, I think there was more clothes come ups than it was sneakers it was very scarce for sneakers but the clothing you could probably cop yourself a jacket some hoodies they had a lot of dope gear <clears throat> I ain't gonna front. Um, I'm not pressed for gear right now. I got a lot of hoodies and being in Florida, we got a lot of bipolar weather. So one moment it could be cold. So I'm not gonna, you know, stack up on some winter gear. Um, I got enough and and I'll still buy summer gear. I don't care, man, I'll buy shorts right now. But anyways, man, I'm at the Nike outlet on International. We left the clearance, now I'm at the regular Nike outlet store or factory store. And then uh, across from that is the Adidas outlet and then you got shoe palace you got finish line you got foot locker so we'll see how many stores i can venture into my son is currently sleeping i pick up some starbucks tall hot chocolate you call that the frank but uh yeah man let's go inside and see what's popping man and parking is crazy man it took me about five ten minutes to find a parking man i just literally drove around the whole parking lot and like in cruise control man <laughs> like two miles an hour just keeping my head out like on the swivel like what's popping what's going on you might pull it out luckily i pulled up to this spot which is still a good location uh centrally because the nike out oh shit well i guess it's kind of far but i got you know i got time to kill it ain't raining right now it ain't cold outside anyways i'm rambling too long i'll see y'all inside peace Yo, we actually gonna make this a vlog right now, man, because I forgot about Reeboks right over there. So we're gonna hit the Reeboks first, then Nike, then Adidas. <sighs> Door busters, selected footwear, $24 off. We'll see when we get inside. Actually, I like going down the other door, man, straight into the shoe section. So we'll buy a venture to the second door so I don't make a grand entrance with my Sony 6300. That's right, we vlogging in 4K today. <laughs> yeah. Frip, I see this t-shirt, man. This is a nice weighted t-shirt. It's 40% off of this. So 40% off of 30, it's gonna be like, what, $17? Not bad, bro. The quality of it is on point. You got this one, $40 with pink. There's a few of them in here too, man. Yo, it's really hard to vlog inside Reebok, man. Cause they don't have anything, bro. They stopped making basketball shoes. So it's like, and they really ever have Iverson's or Shaq's. Almost happened. I mean, it's, it's a struggle just to find some, some Reeboks that I remotely like. These look remotely good, but hard pass for me. I mean, what can I do with this? Or these, I think this is a DMX, right? Where they call camera on black, size 10 and a half, $74 with additional discounts. Okay, look at the quality on them. Okay, it says killer on the right side. Okay, I got some little hair, some fuzz right there. Like I got peach fuzz on the back heel as well. Got the DMX technology, just like the Iversons, twos, the answers. Okay, I think this is the basketball shoe. It says new arrival, 150. What's these, the kam kamikazes? I don't even know. Nah, it doesn't say kamikaze. Mobius? Mobius? I think that's the name of it. Then they got these. I think these are kamikazes. Nah, am I wrong? 150 for them. Yo, I don't know what none of these stuff is called. See how disconnect we are from Reebok? Especially me. What they got over here? I'm not even sure what those are. DMX Series 1600? Yeah, not for me. You got this colorway here as well. Oh, shit, sure, we got the old school joints right here. With a gum bottom. All right, $75. That's the old school joint. And you got the all white one on top. $75 as well. Yo, Reebok was whack, man. Reebok, where your design is at, man? There was nothing in there remotely interesting, man. Yo, step your game up, bro. Reebok goes to Adidas, then Nike. 